Engage. Innovative and effective teaching and learning with technology. Teacher iPad and student technology initiatives. Hi, I'm Brenda Albright. I'm the Deputy Superintendent for Georgetown ISD. I'm delighted to be here today to bring you some great news. At Georgetown, we are bringing out a new initiative where we're bringing iPads to the teachers. Ultimately, we want to get technology in the hands of every student. And part of that is getting our teachers ready first. It is absolutely the right thing to do to get teachers the technology before we actually put it in the hands of students. In fall of 2013-14, our students will be allowed to bring their technology to the classroom. And teaching in a technology-rich classroom is going to be a new challenge for our teachers. And so we want to spend a great deal of time this spring getting our teachers ready, providing the training, getting the iPad in your hand, giving you an opportunity to look at some things that you can do to make your classroom even better than it already is. Um, one thing that we want to talk about is training and in the video further down you'll see some information about what opportunities you have available to you. It's going to come in a lot of different formats. Find the one that works best for you. Um, but the main thing is to get engaged, to get involved. Find a way to take this technology and make the things you do in the classroom even better, stronger, and more relevant for the students that we have. Who will receive an iPad? All GISD teachers will have the option to get a district iPad. You are not required to take an iPad. When will each teacher receive an iPad? 80 teachers are receiving their iPads in mid-February 2013. Those 80 teachers were selected by their principals to be leaders in the iPad training and technology integration efforts. Teacher iPads will be distributed in two more rounds. First, classroom teachers and content area teachers will receive their iPads. Then, all remaining teachers will receive their iPads. All teachers will receive their iPads by early fall 2013. Will students have access to more technology? As Dr. Albright explained, iPads for Teachers is the first step for bringing more technology resources into our classrooms. During the 2013-2014 school year, high school and middle school students will be allowed to bring their own technology tools to school and connect them to our district's wireless access. Also during the 2013-2014 school year, the district will begin purchasing small sets of iPads for each elementary school classroom. However, GISD will not be purchasing iPads for every student. Can teachers bring their own technology to school? If you have personal technology that you'd like to use in your classroom, you can begin bringing that to school in fall 2013 and will be allowed to connect it to the district's wireless access. Engage at middle schools and high schools. This is a great opportunity for us to provide teachers with an essential tool to really inspire innovative thinking and divergent learning in the classroom. By providing teachers with iPads in our secondary classrooms, we're hoping that number one, they're going to be the role models that we're looking forward to with these students. Our kids who are already using these tools at home, outside of class, and some even bring them to school already, use them as an essential tool in their learning. We want to provide this for teachers so that they can learn also and really personalize their own learning and professional development to extend it to students. In order to increase the inquiry-based learning that we're looking for from our students, and the divergent thinking, creativity, all the things that make the learning experience just so much more valuable for kids, this will offer them that opportunity to do so. We're hoping that they're going to take their iPads, as some of us have been able to do too, and take it forward and really go out and explore and experience what's out there and bring it back, bring it to the classrooms, allow the kids to do the same, where it's a truly collaborative, it's just a facilitation of a collaborative learning environment in the classroom. Engage in professional learning. This is really going to change the way that we approach professional learning with our teachers in this district. I'm excited to think that teachers become the owners of their own professional learning. A lot of it's just going to be done on their own naturally because they're looking for things, finding ways to increase the, the creativity in their classroom and the ways to increase what's happening in the classroom with student engagement. 
Also, when we have our days in August, when teachers will be coming back from summer vacation, we're going to be having middle school and high school teachers learning more about the ways they can utilize technology in the classroom. And all teachers will be participating in some training for technology in August when we return. So again, we're just looking forward to this. It's a fabulous opportunity and we're very, very excited to be on the forefront of this new endeavor for our district. Engage at elementary schools. Our biggest goal for our teachers um, is for them to use the iPads with instruction and to have some very relevant apps and find multiple resources that are going to help our kids be engaged and you know, really get to a higher level of thinking since rigor is one of our big goals at the elementary level. So um, those are important. And then we also um, want them to be able to have it as a tool for um, differentiation, uh, enriching, and also intervening. Will elementary students have more access to technology? Oh, absolutely. We're committed to that. So that's really exciting. Um, obviously, um, iPads, we want to increase the amount of iPads that we have in the classroom. You know, but also Mimeos and smart boards and, you know, there's just so many new things coming out all the time. So just a variety of hardware and software. But always remembering that, um, you know, technology is a tool to learning. It's not the learning, but it's the technology is the tool. How does GISD hope having access to a small set of iPads will help elementary students? We're very good at going from whole group to small group at the elementary level, so that's exciting already that we know how to do that. I think having a set of iPads in each room on a regular basis will facilitate the teachers using them regularly, so, so that's what I would like to see is the iPads in the room and stay in the room so that they can use them in their small groups. And I, I think the biggest thing too in the small groups is be able to have different activities besides just pen and pencil. Um, going to appropriate apps and using those to learn at a deeper level and then also just having access to the multiple resources that they can get to through an iPad is really exciting. I think the other thing with the small group learning is it just gives us the opportunity to learn the 21st century skills like the collaboration, the communication, the problem solving, and then even creating new products as a group. Will elementary teachers receive training on best practices for teaching with iPads? We're going to have the initial five-hour training, which is kind of the beginning part of it, but we are already planning in August to have um, um, different sessions for the teachers because I think one thing we have to keep in mind is that teachers are at a very different level of skill, and so we need to offer them a variety of choice uh, in their technology training. But probably the biggest thing that we're going to focus on is using technology while we have trainings for content. Uh, because integrating the content and the technology is what we're all about. And I think this is where teachers are really going to um, love the technology because they're masters of their content. And they're gonna, we're going to have leaders that will come through and say, I love this app and these resources for math. You know, or I found a great vocabulary development app and here's resources that can help my students learn and remember. So that's where Tech Bytes come in, and teachers will get to lead and share, and that will be ongoing throughout the year. So that will be an additional training opportunities and by the teachers, so that's exciting. And then just as need arises in the district, we'll see if we need to do or offer um, district-wide training or just continue in the path of where teachers are. So it's it's a really exciting journey. We're very excited about implementing technology and, um, you know, going to be excited about see, seeing how um, our students learn with it. How will teachers receive initial iPad training? Teachers who choose to take a district iPad will participate in iPad orientation training. The total time commitment for training is about five hours. In the first hour of training, you will pick up your iPad and participate in setup training. The next four hours of training are four modules that you can complete either online or in person. You'll receive a checklist of iPad skills to self-assess your learning on each skill. If I already know how to use an iPad, do I have to attend training? All teachers who receive an iPad will be required to attend the initial one-hour iPad setup training. Teachers with iPad or iPhone experience may want to complete training online using the self-assessment checklist. After reviewing the skills online, you can quickly check off items you're already familiar with. Ongoing training and support. 
Starting this spring, as teachers are receiving their iPads, you can participate in Tech Bytes training sessions. Tech Bytes are a one hour training session led by a teacher who wants to share ideas for using technology in teaching and learning. You will learn ideas for using iPads, specific apps, websites, and other technology resources such as interactive whiteboards in your classroom. Any teacher can apply to present a Tech Bytes session and will be paid to present. Please consider sharing your great ideas with others. In summer 2013, educational technologists will provide training on best practices for teaching in a technology-rich classroom. We'll share strategies for classroom management when students bring their own technology and ideas for engaging students using technology, including iPads. Your educational technologists will support you in your classroom and by providing ongoing training to help you be successful in this exciting endeavor. Why every classroom teacher should have an iPad. In closing, we are once again very excited about this initiative. A colleague told me a story not too long ago about four reasons why every classroom teacher in Texas should have an iPad. And it's the obvious reasons. The ones we know about more engaged student learning. It's about preparing for those students who are coming up, the young ones, who are really digital learners. It's about taking some of our classrooms and revitalizing them with even more current resources. But the fourth reason, and the one that I think is probably the, the best, is it will up your coolness factor. And you know, couldn't all of us be a little more cool with students? So take this opportunity to, to get to know your iPad in whatever format works for you and get involved in the training, find ways to rejuvenate your curriculum, your classroom, and uh, share your stories with us. We want to know the success stories. We want to promote your coolness factor. Thank you.